What's going on, Seawolves? You're watching USG Hot Takes. I'm your host, A.T. Bianco, and today our guests are from USG. We've got Vice President of Clubs and Orgs, Mame SA02, and the Assistant to VP of Student Life, Myra Gomes. Ladies, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Yeah. So shout out to FSA and Colin Art for the wings for today. And before we get started, I want to hear what your experience is with hot foods. Um, I consider myself a hot foods expert. Uh, I've been eating hot foods my whole life, so we'll see how this goes. Or that's what like, we like to hear. Whenever I go to Buffalo Wild Wings, you know, we eat the spiciest kind. That's what we do. So our first sauce is the hot one sauce. So we're gonna clink wings here. So take one. We'll cheers, we'll do a three-way cheers. Cheers, take one bite. It's good. Mm -hmm. Let's start with what year both of you are and how your majors apply to what you wanna do with your career. Um, so I'm a senior. I'm a business management major with a marketing concentration, um, and I would actually like to work in media in the future. Um, I think music marketing is something that I would really be interested in doing. So you say music marketing, mm -hmm. A&R, record labels, is that what you're thinking? Hopefully a label, that's where I want to end up. That's cool. Yeah. So what kind of music do you listen to? Um, I listen to all types of music, like, like a ton of different genres. Um, I listen to R&B, hip hop, a little bit of rock here and there, a tiny bit of country, <laughs> um, gospel music, all types of music. A little bit of everything. Yeah, a little bit of awesome, everything. Awesome, awesome. Myra, how about you? Um, I'm a major in political science and sociology. So like, what I'm looking for in my future is like, definitely something in policy change, policy influence, lobbying, spicing it up for Trump. <laughs> 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 That's about it, yeah. So um, in, Talking about that, how has Stony Brook kind of uh, helped you guys find your career path? Oh, it's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I would say that before I got to Stony Brook, I didn't necessarily know what I wanted to do. I know I knew I wanted to do business, but um, I didn't know like where in business I wanted to um, like venture off into. Mm -hmm. um, and I had the pleasure of interning with the T. Howard Foundation um, at a media company. So um, I only got that opportunity through Stony Brook. So I would say that's how I knew I wanted to get into media. Um, and that's how Stony Brook helped me. Awesome. How about you? Um, when I came to Stony Brook, like a lot of the classes for me were just so intense and I just loved it. It actually like, gave me more of a focus more into like sociology and the dynamics of how people work. So like I love to focus in on that. And it makes you I don't know, work better with other people, kind definitely of learn their, does. their tendencies as well. So you guys ready for the second sauce, second yeah. wing here? Yeah. All right. It's so scary. Yeah. Oh God. So we'll clink wings, cheers, cheers, one bite. So, Essie, mm -hmm. being the VP of Clubs and Orgs for USG, <laughs> what are some important initiatives for you in your new role this year? I really want to um, build a better relationship with clubs in general. Um, so that means more emails going out. I know some of those students get a lot of emails, um, but I really want to make sure that <coughs> clubs have um, clubs know that they have USG as a resource. Um, I also would like to build a closer relationship with student engagement and activities. Um, in the past, I would say that relationship hasn't been as close as, um, as it would make sense to be, mm -hmm. being that student engagement and activities is um, the group that recognizes clubs and organizations and helps them with all of their programming. Um, so it only makes sense that we would work hand in hand. Um, and I would say I really just want to give clubs a little, little love and care. You know, I think they need a little bit of guidance um, and I kind of want to be that guidance. So, Myra, working in the Office of Student Life, what are some upcoming events in the month of October, November to let the students know about? So, um, we're actually planning this really big event called Spooky Brook. We had one last year, but 
It's not gonna be as big as this one. This one, we're trying to make it week long and canvas wide. So we're trying to collaborate with other organizations, other quads, so that would make sure that everybody gets a chance to get to everything. And then it's all gonna lead up to our big event on um, Saturday, October 26th, which is gonna be huge. It's gonna be in the sack. We're gonna have multiple different entities going on. We're gonna have like a Halloween town. It's gonna be super cool, so. Yeah. <laughs> some school spirit, some Halloween spirit. Super cool spirit. That's yeah. cool. So, you guys ready for the third sauce now? Yeah. All right, this one is a little tricky. It's called Pain is Good. So, I'm going to warn you. I'm excited. Cheers. 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 Okay. So, good. Mm -hmm. Myra, how long have you been a part of USG? And um, how does the Office of Student Life want to reshape student involvement? Yeah. Good, but golly. Yeah, that one hurts. <laughs> Kick him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, what did you ask me? Because <laughs> it was good, then it just what? got hot. <laughs> how long have you been a part of USG? And how does the Office of Student Life want to reshape student involvement? So, I've been a part of. Um, <clears throat> student government since I was a freshman, but when I came here, second I got here, um, I became a senator. So I started um, planning on that. <coughs> and then, as far as office of the student life, we're trying to like change the dynamic on campus because a lot of people they know what's going on, but not a lot of students like to get included. They don't feel really included. So I'm trying to make sure everything opens up to everybody, so that way everybody feels like. Oh, I can connect with that. I can attend that because we have a ton of students on campus and they're super cool events and like they're free most of the time. So come out. So I'm trying to make sure everything reaches to everybody, you know? And you being the new VP of Clubs and Orgs, how does her mission kind of relate to what you're trying to um, get going this year for USG? Um, I mean, I think that uh, student life in general, like clubs play a huge role in student life. Um, and for me, when I got to Stony Brook, I wanted to find like my home away from home. Um, and I found that with clubs. Um, and my clubs in the past uh, participated in some of USG's events like Wolfie Land um, and Spooky Brook and things like that. Um, and so I think that building that community through student life um, with clubs involved um, is kind of like how it ties in. Awesome. This one's called the bomb. Be careful. <laughs> cheers, cheers. Mm -mm. That is not good game. So, wait. I'm gonna oh, ask you wait. true or false questions. Wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. If you answer it incorrectly. Wait. <laughs> so we're gonna wait here. Just wait. <laughs> I need some celery. <laughs> Oh God. That one's rough. That's that's not the bomb. That's it's bigger than the bomb. Ugh. Oh wait. The, oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> There's no way. It's cooking my soul. Well, I'm sorry, dude. This one's rough. Ooh. Mm -hmm. This is new? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just, just give me a minute. Okay, okay we'll take a little break first, right? Ooh. Ow! That one Man. hurts. 18, you've never seen you like. <laughs> With this kind of reaction, dang. <clears throat> you really put a little extra in that. God. It's because I took a second bite. You're, you're crying right you now. Mm -hmm. You're pleasure yourself. Oh, man. Mm. Oh, you took a second bite? Yeah. Who did you think? I don't know. We're back here on USG Hot Takes. <laughs> oh. We had to take a little bit of a break because our mouths are on the fire. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to play a new new game. It's going to be a true and false game. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> it's so spicy. I'm getting dizzy. You all right? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm gonna, these both these questions are for both of you. Mm -hmm. All right? True or false? 
All the kings in a standard deck of cards have a mustache. True. True. False. Oh. Are you, you're not. So the king of hearts does not have a mustache. So I drink some milk to that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's what you put a lot of questions. <laughs> All right. This one's only for Myra, so you can't answer this one. Okay. True or false? Mm. Essie was once an extra on a TV show. True. So she knew that. She knew she that one. That was true. <laughs> so what TV show was it? Madam Secretary. Madam Secretary, yes. Yeah. How did you get that experience? Um, <laughs> so there was, there was a time when I really wanted to like be an actress uh -huh. or some kind of like famous person. So I did this program um, and I was signed to an agency um, and I would get like different casting calls and things like that. So one day I got that one. Oh. I got that one. Uh -huh. And um, I was like, hey, cool. I actually didn't know what Madam Secretary was at the time. Oh, wow. Um, and yeah, it was really cool. Um, I met a lot of really cool people. So yeah. That's a cool story. Mm -hmm. So next one for the both of you. It's the last one. Okay. Donald Duck's sister is named Donna. <laughs> True or false? <laughs> That's his girl. Holy. That's not his sister. <laughs> uh, we should just pick one. Yeah, ready? True. True. False. Her name, false. her name is Dumbella. <laughs> yeah. Who well, did I think it's Dumbella? I just, I, exactly. She probably got, yeah. Um, <laughs> Dumbella. I, I just learned that one, actually, so Dumbella. I thought I wanted to include it. Now it's a good one. Okay, are we ready for this bite of death? We're going to do the... The last sauce right now. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be Mad Dog 357. You ladies ready? It's time. All right. Oh shoot. Ready? Plank wings. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I did it. Yo, I avoided my lips, mm -hmm. but that one don't play. That's a smart move, though. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Ooh. Oh. Let me just drink that down. All right, so last question. Uh -oh. If you could give any advice to any underclassmen at Stony Brook. <laughs> nope. <laughs> what would you ladies tell them? I would tell them to, ooh, this gross. I would tell them to take advantage of every opportunity that they possibly can. I think Stony Brook has a lot of resources that I didn't realize Stony Brook had mm -hmm. until this year, mm -hmm. and I really wish that I had taken advantage of them more. Um, luckily, I've been able to, um, you know, be involved in different ways, and um, all those different um, like methods have definitely helped me. But there are a lot of really cool things that I could have done that I didn't. So definitely, like explore um, and find find them because there are hidden gems. Myra, I'm gonna say Stony Brook has a ton of resources. So maximize on your resources because. When we first get here, you really don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, you're just a little nervous too, because you're a freshman. You're like, oh my God, where am I? Maximize on your resources. Get involved as much as you can. People are like, you're only gonna get a no if you don't try. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You keep trying. You're gonna get your yes, and things will start to work out for you. The better you get, the more you get involved, the better time you're gonna have, and the better campus life you're gonna have. You know what I mean? So get involved, don't be scared, we do not bite, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> so I wanna thank both of you ladies for coming on here today. So thank you for taking on the gauntlet, you guys took it on like champs. Thank so you. VP of Clubs and Orgs, Mame SEO2 here with us, assistant to VP of Student Life, Myra Gomes. Your host, A.T. Bianco, if you're at home watching this, I know you probably feel sorry for us, Press follow, subscribe, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, whatever. So, Sea Wolves, thank you for watching in this episode of USG Hot Takes. Yes. Have a great day. Uh, I need to find a new new career. <laughs> You're watching USG Hot Takes, the hottest show on campus. <laughs>